Hello researchers, how are you? I hope you are fine and doing well. In this video, I will be demonstrating how to install LAMP server that is Linux, Apache, MySQL and PHP along with WordPress on Ubuntu 16.04. Now before we dive into the installation part of WordPress and LAMP server on Ubuntu 16.04, let us first of all get ourselves aware regarding WordPress. WordPress is a free and open source content management system based on PHP and MySQL. WordPress is installed on a web server which either is a part of an internet hosting service or is a network host itself. The first case may be on a service like WordPress.com for example and the second case is a computer running the software package WordPress.org. An example of the second case is a local computer configured to act as its own web server hosting WordPress for single user testing or learning purpose. Features include a plugin architecture and a template system. WordPress was used by more than 26.4% of the top 10 million websites as of April 2016 data. WordPress is reportedly the easiest and the most popular blogging system in the use on the web supporting more than 60 million websites. It was released on May 27, 2003 by its founders Matt Mullenweg and Mike Little and a fork of B2 Oblique Keflock. WordPress is released under GPL version 2 license from the Free Software Foundation. The developer is WordPress Foundation. The initial release wa was done on May 27, 2003, about 13 years ago. Its stable release is 4.6.1, which was done on September 7, 2016, 31 days ago. And the preview release is 4.6 RC2, which was released on August 11, 2016, 58 days ago. It is under the current development status and it is available for cross-platform which means that you can install WordPress on Windows, Linux, Macintosh and so on. It is of block software, content management system, content management framework type. And the official website you can see over here I have already opened that is called HTTPS that is WordPress.com. You can see create an unforgettable website. If you scroll down you can find create a website, promote your business, start a blog and discover. Everything you need to build a beautiful website website that is easy to use, the best support, premium plans, your own domain name, SEO friendly, millions of users. And you can see very versatile uh, plans etc. So it is available free of cost also, personal it is costing about $3, premium is costing about $8 and business is costing about $24 per month. So if we talk of some features you can find, you can get started with blog, website or both, view plans for any budget, custom documents, realize your vision with hundreds of themes, mobile friendly, fast and friendly support, help which you want and tell your story, will write without any worry, upload mobile and desktop apps and find your fans which means built in social networking, in-depth stats, search engine optimized. So I can say that this is one of the best blogging system or I can say the fully loaded blogging system. If you are a website developer or a blogger, I recommend that you use WordPress along with LAMP. Now let us dive into our virtual box machine that is VMware machine which I have already installed that is Ubuntu 16.04 as a fresh version. So I will be demonstrating how to install LAMP server and WordPress in very simple and easy to use commands on in this video. So let us go with this VMware. You can see that here are the commands that is installing LAMP and WordPress on Ubuntu 16.04. So the first command is to log in with root. So give this command su space minus and let me give the password. So let me clear this and now what we have to do is to update the system. So let us give this command apt hyphen get update. apt hyphen get update is one of the most crucial command for everything because why? Because unless or until you have not updated the repositories, it will not give you the latest versions. So I recommend that if you do any work, any any work on Ubuntu, your first command should be always apt hyphen get update. You can even go with apt hyphen get upgrade depending on your uh, requirements etc for that. So you can see that the update has been done. So now what we have to do is to install the LAMP server in single command that is apt hyphen get install LAMP hyphen server shift 6 with this uh, special symbol. So you can see that with this only command the entire LAMP server that is Apache, MySQL, PHP will be installed. So let's press Y and press enter. So after that we will make some settings on uh, MySQL database and after that we will be installing WordPress and then we will be going with the front end work of WordPress. 
So as I've already told you that WordPress is already designed into PHP and MySQL. So before installing WordPress, it is very important that your machine should have the LAMP server, which is very, very important because unless or until it is not having, you will not be able to install WordPress in a proper manner. So you can see that the download has started. So it will take a couple of seconds more. Depending on the speed of your net connection, it will take some time because I've already told you that we are connecting to international servers. So everything depends on the international network speeds also. So MySQL client is being downloaded. So it will take some time because it is about 6 MB. So as you can see that in my uh, video channel, I have already demonstrated various content management systems. So I can say that uh, the WordPress, Drupal, uh, and even the Cake PHP, these are the most easiest and, uh, and friendly to use content management systems. So if you're a student of MCA, MTech, or BTech, and you want to make a good web website, uh, so I recommend that you start with some HTML, then go for PHP, and then you can install with WordPress, etc. because these are the basic foundations, and they will give you a good platform to learn with the advanced technologies also so you can see that almost 60 percent work has been done so let's wait for uh, one or two minutes more once it is downloaded it will take a less than couple of seconds about 30 seconds to install and deploy so during installation it will also be demanding you the password of MySQL so give a strong password so depending on your requirements so you can do it so most of my uh, video uh, channel subscribers tell me that why you use your name Anand as a password. So let me tell you that uh, I use my name password Anand so that the video can remain simple but you can uh, change the name of the password as per your strong requirements. So because my videos are very much helpful as well as very much simple so I just keep uh, I try to keep my videos as simple as possible. So you can see that now it is asking for the MySQL server password which is 5.7. So let me give the password as my name only. So it is unpacking and installing and let me tell you that it will be installing Apache, MySQL and PHP. After that we will be going towards some WordPress database initialization so that we can do the word of the backend and after that we will be installing WordPress. So it is enabling all modules and it is enabling the site also and now it is setting up the MySQL server. Now it is setting up the PHP which is the latest version that is 7.0. You can even install some add-ins also. You can even configure with a php.ini file as per your requirements also. So now you can see that it is setting up the PHP. Okay. So now what we have to do is to go with this command that is mysql space minus u root space minus p and let us give the password so you can see that the mysql is being there. So let us go with these commands with the creation of some database and some creation of the user so that we can use this when we configure WordPress at the front end website. So you can see that one query has been affected so let us create the user also. So I'm giving the username as WordPress user and the WordPress password. So even you can change it. So the query has been granted so let us give the privileges to this that is WordPress user and let us type this and now let us flush the privileges and let's exit. So now everything has been set up and now what we have to do is to go with the part last of this video in which we install the WordPress. So let us go to the temporary file, temporary folder sorry and now what we have to do is to download the latest WordPress version. So let us copy this command so you can see that every command is working in a proper manner. So you just have to copy paste and all the commands are available downstairs on the video and so that you can find no problem in installing after watching this video. So you can see that it is about 8.2 MB of size. So depending on your net connection it will take less than one minute or maybe minute or two. So after that what we have to do is to unzip the latest .zip into var slash www slash html so that we can uh, move to the front end part of this website. So that I have already told you that depending on the net connection sometimes the international servers are 
somewhat slow so you have to bear with them but sometimes they are very fast so you can see that it is gaining some speed and we can reduce some time so you can see that uh, how much easy it is to install WordPress and uh, if you are a good student of computer science I always recommend that uh, instead of using Windows use entire work and do some web development projects on Ubuntu you will find a very user friendly environment as compared to Windows on Linux and very stable and even secure also very very secure so you can even learn uh, Ubuntu commands more than that with this uh, platform so after zipping we will just go with the change owner commands with this in which we will just uh, give the owner command as 755 and after that we will some uh, do some uh, again change user command for this WordPress for that we can upload the, all the videos etc for the oh, sorry websites also and then with this opening of this browser we will be opening up the main uh, you can say the WordPress website So till it happens, let us pause the video for some time. So now you can see that it is almost in the verge of completion of download. So the download is there. So let's press LS. You can see that the latest.zip has been downloaded. So let us uh, give this command in which we use unzip as a utility to unzip all the contents of the latest.zip into slash where slash www slash html. So it has been unzipped. So now what we have to do is to give this command. So give this command step by step so that we can able to install and set up WordPress in a very easy manner. And now let us make the directory of this so that we can upload all the websites over here. And now let us give the final command and after that we are all set. So now let us check the IP address of this machine by giving the command ifconfig. So 192.168.117.229 let us copy this. So over here what we do let's go to this slash word press so now you can see that uh, an extension is also being required so what we have to do is to set up the extension of mysql so if the errors happens so what you have to do is to type this command service apache to restart so you don't have to install any MySQL add-on because MySQL add-on is already installed. So let me show you this. That is if we go with this command apt hyphen get install MySQL sorry php 7.0 MySQL so you can see that it is already installed. So now what we have to do is to come again and let us press enter. So let's wait now you can see that the WordPress configuration page is there so you can see that we just have to reinstall uh, sorry restart the Apache web server so let us set the English United States so let us click on continue so let's go now what we have to do is to give the database name which we have taken over here with the database name that is WordPress DB so username that is called WordPress user let us copy this and let us paste so let us go with the password that is WordPress password which I have already set over there at the back end so you can see that already all the settings have been done so let us go with submit so run the install and now within few couple of seconds you can see that it will be installed so let us give the site name that is my web page and let me give the username as Anand and uh, let me take my name as 123 as the password confirm the use of password so let us give your email that is I can take a fake email that is abc at the rate gmail.com so click on install WordPress so Anand and your chosen password is there so let us click on login and let me type Anand and Anand 123 is the password so let us click on login and let's wait you can see my web page is there and yes you can see the dashboard is there 
so which means that everything is working fit and fine and WordPress 4.6.1 version is being running and now you can click on customize your site you can click on comments pages you can add anything so WordPress is working fit and fine so in this video I have demonstrated how to install WordPress that is the latest version 4.6.1 along with LAMP server on Ubuntu 16.04 so you can see that everything is very easy all the notes are available downstairs on this video so do give this uh, thing a shot do uh, like this video, share with your friends. Thank you so much for watching.